What's going on guys, Tmart here, and today I'm bringing you guys some more Call of Duty Ghosts tips and tricks. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some recoil abnormalities with some of the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. There are 10 weapons in Ghosts that are affected by this. Some of them have reduced recoil for the first couple of shots, and some of them have increased recoil for the first couple of shots. And this is really interesting, it's really important information because if they have reduced recoil for the first couple of shots, you want to burst fire them because you're going to be more accurate. If they have increased recoil for the first couple of shots, you want to make sure you hold down that trigger and don't burst fire because they're going to get more accurate with time. So uh, this is pretty interesting and when I talk about recoil I'm talking about both view and gun kick. So it's what you see on screen in terms of your gun going up and down and then also where the bullets are actually going. So uh, when I say recoil that's what I mean. Now starting off here let's start with the weapons that have a recoil reduction for the first couple of shots. Now the first one is the FAD which has 10% less recoil for the first 8 shots which is insane. That's a super long time, the 8 shots, no other gun compares to that. Most of them are in the 1 to 3 range. Now uh, next up is the Remington R5. This thing has negative 15% recoil for the first shot so you know make sure that first one's on target. Make sure you hit that one because it's going to be right where you aim it. Uh, next up the ARX has negative 15% recoil for the first 2 shots. So this weapon is a weapon that if you're using it on full auto you want to make sure you burst fire when you're at those medium to long ranges because those shots those first two shots of every burst are going to be much more on target and help you take down enemies now uh, next up we got the sc2010 which has 20 percent less recoil for its first shot kind of like the remington r5 uh, next up is the cbj ms and this thing has 20 percent less recoil for the first two shots so being an smg this isn't as you know important because usually you're going to be up close and the recoil is not going to affect you that much but if you are at medium distance burst fire because you're going to be a lot more accurate, especially with the crazy amount of recoil that that thing has. Now, uh, next up, the Honey Badger has negative 30% recoil, which is quite a bit for the first shot, which is pretty important. Again, make sure you hit that first shot with the Honey Badger. And then finally, the LSAT LMG has negative 30% recoil for the first three shots. So this is the most important weapon in the game to burst fire on full auto. LMGs, you know, typically they're pretty controllable if you hold it down, but if you're using the LSAT, make sure you burst fire it because those first three shots are gonna be 30% more accurate, which is pretty crazy. Now. Next up, we've got three more weapons that are affected by recoil abnormalities, but these ones have a recoil addition. And like I mentioned earlier with these, since they have increased recoil for the first couple of shots, you want to make sure you're holding down the trigger on these ones and not burst firing. Burst firing will put you at a disadvantage. So uh, first up is the AK-12, which has plus 15% recoil for the first shot. Don't burst fire that. Next up is the Ameli, and this one is a do, do, do not burst fire. Like, it's really important here. Uh, it's got 25% increased recoil for the first three shots. So those first three shots may be a little bit crazy, but after that, it starts to settle down and become a tighter pattern. So if you use the Ameli, make sure to keep that in mind. And, and then finally, the Chainsaw, which is, uh, it's just a crazy gun in general. Like, you don't really have to worry about recoil with this thing. It's just kind of a running gun. Play for fun. Don't take it too seriously, gun. But uh, with this thing, you've got... 45% additional recoil for the first six shots. So your first six shots, that thing's going to be all over the place. After that, your bullets are going to be nearly 50% more accurate. But, I mean, in a weapon that you can only hip fire, I don't think they're that accurate anyway. So uh, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully this helped you out. Like I said, if you use any of these weapons, which I'm sure a lot of you do, I mean, the Remington, SC2010, Honey Badger, AK-12, you know, these are really good weapons. Make sure you keep this in mind and use this to your advantage next time you're using one of these guns. Uh, even if it's a disadvantage, you know, like the AK-12 has plus 15% recoil for the first shot, make sure you're not, you know, doing a bunch of first shots. Make sure you hold down that trigger, and it's going to get more accurate over time and things like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got a bunch of great videos coming soon. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen yet. And peace out, guys.